In question 11 of this exercise, the problem statement says, sum of the areas of two squares is 468 meters square. If the difference of the perimeters is 24 meters, find the sides of the two squares. So we're given the sum of the areas and we're given the difference of the perimeters. And from these two data points, we have to find the sides of the two squares. So let's draw a simple visual to help us represent this situation. So suppose that these are the two squares uh, which are being talked about in the problem statement. And let's say that this smaller square has a side length of x meters. Then the smaller square will have a perimeter of 4x meters because the perimeter of a square is simply the sum of the four sides and all four sides are equal. So the perimeter of the smaller square will be 4x meters which means that the perimeter of the larger square will be 24 meters more than this. So the perimeter of the larger square will be 4x plus 24 meters. And from here, we can say that the side of the larger square will be 4x plus 24, this perimeter, divided by 4. So if we divide 4x plus 24 by 4, we will get x plus 6. So the side of the larger square is x plus 6 meters. So from the fact that the difference of the perimeters is 24 meters, what we have concluded is that if the smaller square has a side length of x meters, then the larger square has a side length of x plus 6 meters. So this difference of 6 in the side, side length translates to a difference of 24 meters in the perimeter. Okay, so now that we have the side lengths in terms of x, we can write the areas in terms of x. So the area of the smaller square will be x square meter square and the area of the larger square will be x plus 6 whole square meter square. And what we can do now is uh, take the sum of these two expressions add, and that sum should be equal to 468 meter square. So let's do that. So we should have x square plus x plus 6 whole square. This should be equal to 468. And from here, we get an equation in x, which is actually a quadratic equation. So let's simplify this, write it in the standard form. So we have x square, and then let's square this x plus 6 whole square. So we get x square plus 2ab, so 2 times x times 6, so that's 12x. And then plus b square, which is 36. This is equal to 468. So let's collect the terms. So we have x square plus x square, so that's 2x square and then we have 12x and then we have 36 and this 468 we subtract it so we get 36 minus 468 so 36 minus 468 that's equal to minus 432 and this is equal to 0 so this is the equation and we can actually cancel out the common factor of 2 on both sides so we get x square plus 6x minus 216 this is equal to 0. And now we can solve this quadratic equation and find the value of x. To do that, I'm going to use the technique of splitting the middle term 6x. So I need two numbers whose product is equal to minus 216 and sum is equal to 6. And those two numbers are 18 and minus 12 because 18 times minus 12 is equal to minus 216 and 18 plus minus 12 is equal to 6. So I can split the middle term accordingly. So I can do x square plus 6x now becomes 18x minus 12x and then I have minus 216 this is equal to 0. Now from the first pair of terms I can take out x common so I will get x times x plus 18 and then from the second so x plus 18 and then from the second pair of terms I can take out minus 12 common so minus 12 times x plus 18 this is equal to 0 and now I can take out x plus 18 common so x plus 18 uh, times x minus 12 this is equal to 0. Now I can get the two roots of the of this equation so the two roots are x equal to minus 18 corresponding to this factor and x equal to 12. So x is either equal to minus 18 or x is equal to 12. Now because x was the side length it can't be minus 18 because it has to be positive. So this root does not work for us in this situation. So the root that works is x equal to 12. 
So the side length of the smaller square is 12 meters and the side length of the larger square is 6 meters more than this. So this is 18 meters and now we can verify whether our answer is correct. So the total, uh, so the difference of perimeters is uh, the perimeter of the smaller square is 48 meters and of the largest square is 72 meters and the difference is 24 meters. That's correct. And the sum of the squares will be 12 square plus 18 square meter square and you can verify that 12 square 144 and 18 square 324 their sum is equal to 468 which was this this piece of information given to us so the answer to this question is that the sides of the two squares are 12 meters and 18 meters to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.